So let's talk about VASPs and VASP regimes. Now VASP stands for Virtual Asset Service Provider. And nowadays any businesses operating with virtual assets are considered virtual asset service providers. So operations with virtual assets can take on many forms such as issuance, storage and exchange of virtual assets, facilitation of trades or auctions and granting crypto based loans. Now, in some jurisdictions, token issuers might be qualified as virtual asset service providers, so a special regulatory regime for the VASP will be needed. This is a critical deciding factor when choosing a country for incorporation of your token SPV. Currently, there are several different options, several different countries with special regulatory regimes, including Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Gibraltar, the Cayman Islands, Hong Kong, Singapore and the British Virgin Islands. Now, some countries have adopted specific laws, including Liechtenstein and the Cayman Islands, Singapore and Gibraltar, whereas others like Switzerland and Hong Kong have simply issued regulatory clarifications as such. The main advantage of having a token SPV registered in a country with a VASP regime is the regulatory clarity of the token issuance process. So this will also influence the price of the legal works as well for the issuance as founders will need to obtain various approvals and licenses from local regulators and implement things like KYC and AML compliance measures. So what about the jurisdictions without special regulations for virtual assets? Now, alternatively, it is possible to set up a token SPV in a jurisdiction where the regulator has adopted a kind of wait and see approach and they haven't got any token specific legislation um, that's been issued. So the advantages of setting up a token SPV in somewhere like Panama or the Seychelles are that the virtual asset activity isn't overly regulated and often doesn't imply additional obligations for authorization. Now, at the same time, special regulations for virtual assets can always be introduced in the future. And so there are benefits and drawbacks. So companies that choose to register in these jurisdictions like Seychelles and Panama could expose themselves to a rather high degree of risk due to the uncertainty of any newly adopted regulations.